Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of Railroader um, and some of the mods that I have installed to this. Um, so, obviously we're in the game here. Um, this is a newer game, came out I think January, or no, it was December, late December, or early December I should say. So, um, right here we have one of the engines that Railroader provides you, so this is the G25260 Mogul. Um, and so I'm just going to be going over, uh, the whistles that I have downloaded, the mod, and some of the whistles that they give you, and, um, what I have also downloaded this game. Um, so let's start off by the whistles. So, um, I'll tell you guys which ones are from the mod and which ones are from, <coughs> excuse me, and which ones are from, uh, regular installed right into the game. Uh, so our first whistle here is going to be a Baldwin Hooter. And as you guys will see right here where my mouse is, um, the whistle models are going to change with um, most of the whistles. So first we have a Baldwin Hooter. So these first three whistles here are all from, actually the first four whistles here are all from the mod that I downloaded. And I'll put the link to the mods down in the um, description so you guys can check that out too. Um, so here we have a Mailbox Hooter. Not my favorite. So they call it a mailbox shooter because it literally looks like a mailbox. So here's that one. <laughs> Sounds like it belongs on a ship, not on a train. Uh, here we have NNW 1228s and a uh, hooter whistle. Hooter as well. <clears throat> um, so the, all those four there were from the um, mod. These next three whistles are all from when you download the game. These are built into the game. Saddle Tank One Chan. We have a saddle tank one chime low. Uh, we have a VT one chime. Uh, here we go back into the mod. Baldwin three chime. It's a nice whistle here. Oh, we have B&O three times. This is probably one of my favorites from this list, from the mod. Very nice sounding whistle there. Uh, this CNJ three chime is also built into the game right when you get it. Uh, we have a CNJ three chime one, but this one is not from the gate built in. This is the mod. We have a Crosby 3 Chime. Also a nice sounding whistle here. Alright, let's see. We got a Durango, or wait, D-N-R-G-W, yeah, Durango uh, 3 Chime. This is another nice, I'm pretty sure this is a nice one. Yeah, this is a nice one. Nice sounding whistle there. We have a 352's Frisco 3 chime. Bit of a deeper sound. I'm not really a big fan of those low sounding um, whistles. Uh, we have an HICO long bell 3 chime. This one comes in with the game. So we got here an IC3 Shen. This one also comes with the game, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, this is in the mod. Actually, I'm not sure about that one. I can't tell if the, I can't remember if that one's from the mod or not. Uh, Le Lehigh Valley 3 Chime. This one's from the mod. I know that. Uh, 
Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got a MEC three chime. This one's a pretty sure good sound. Oh yeah. Uh, we got an NNW experimental three chime. This one not my favorite. Um, let's see. We got a Pennsylvania Railroad three chimes. These are some of my favorites, the Pennsylvania Railroad three chimes. <laughs> kind of sounds like um, the Pennsylvania one, two, two, threes whistle. Uh, we have 1361's Pennsylvania Railroad three chimes. <laughs> Let's see here, what else? We got a Powell 3 chime. Um, we have a Southern Longbell 3 chime. This one comes in the game. Uh, we also have a Standard 3 chime. Yeah, these next three here are all from built in the game. TP three chime. Actually, you know what? No, that one's from the mod. <coughs> this one is from built in the WM three chime. Not back to where it was here. And you guys can also see the whistle mods changing as well. We have an Alco five chime. This one's a nice sounding whistle. See what else we got here. We got a Canadian National Step Top Five Chime. These next, these next four as well are all built in the game. The CP Step Top Five Chime. Uh, COFG Five Chime. A CNW five chime. Get a Chinese five chime. This is now these uh, most of these are all from the the list here or the mod. Uh, let's see. We have a very uh, custom flat top five chime. Actually, this one's built in the game. This one is not from the mod. Um, then we got a DNRG step top five chime. This one's built in as well. It's actually the default whistle on the game. Um, 618's desert five chime. This is a good one. Uh, eerie five chime. This one's alright. We had a GCE step top five chime. This one is built in the game. We have a Lima five chime here. This one's actually quite nice as well. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? Nathan five chime. This one's built in the game too. A New Zealand five chime. This one is not built in. It's uh, a nice sounding whistle there. Oh, we have a Miss the NYC five chime. This one's built in too here. That um New Zealand five chime was from the mod. Let's get back on track. Alright, okay, we got an NKP step top five chime. This one was built in as well.
this star brass five chime also built into the game. Uh, what is that? You in ta? You in ta? Five chime. Uh, we have a B and M six time. This is a nice sounding whistle here. That's a very nice sounding whistle there. Um, these next two here, the C O F G six chime, uh, a low, are also built in the game here. Do the low one now. Uh, we have a we have number sixties GTW six chan. We have a Huber six chan. Huber six chan. Huber. Not a bad sounding whistle there. Uh, we got 765's Nathan Six Chan. <laughs> kind of have a little bit of background noise on that one. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got Nathan Six Chan. This one's built into the game. We got a New Haven Six Chan. We have an NYC Hudson Six Chime. We have a Redding Six Chime. This one's also built in to the game when you get it. We have Strasbourg or a 90s Redding Six Chime, one of my personal favorite whistles. We have an SP six chime. Alrighty, so that is the whole whistle list for you guys there. And then of course you have your bell. Your bell doesn't they don't allow you to change the bell yet. Um let's go to our first person view here. Um so let me show you guys what I can do here to, that I added. Um, so this lettering down here does not come with the game. That's another model I had to download. So what I do is I go on here. It's already selected. So I can click Customize. And I can actually, you know, put some lettering down here. So if I was trying to make this a Canadian National Engine, um, like 89 per se. So 89 right below the number has E, 10, A, E10A, and a few letter, 26%. I can copy that, and now it looks just like the side of 89's cab. So that's that's pretty neat there. You can add names there. Sometimes it's above it, sometimes it's below it, just depending on the engine model. Um, and obviously you can change the color of it, same with the tender. Um, you could also just click customize and click copy to coupled, and that'll copy every single car, copy the color and all that to every single car that you have coupled to the engine. Um, but yeah, so, let's head into the cab here, show you guys some cab controls. I like the firebox here, that's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, same thing on this side, kind of gives you a little, um, a little bit of extra detail there. Um, I also didn't realize these marker lamps worked either. Something I never knew. Um, well, all right, you guys. Um, like I said, I'm going to put the links in the 
description for you to go check them out. So if you want to get all of these whistles um, and all of the uh, all the other options, there's actually a lot more mods you can get. You can get um, marker lamps for certain things. I know there's a few um, there's a few other. I think there's a diesel locomotive you can download. Just some other little fixes, but. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.